That's bad. That's worse. So I might have to be a little more patient on... Oh, well, that's okay. That works. <laughs> Honestly, that might be best. Oh, man. All right. Well, I went for, I went for a totally unnecessary fancy jump. This, oh, probably the fruits. The Wampa fruits. That's the play right there. No, oh, I need you. <laughs> that was really bad. I may have been slightly, slightly off there. Get in! <laughs> That's at least a goldie, but I want the plat. Do I have to enter a name? Alright, well. They just leave me alone. <laughs> What's the platy? If I didn't mess up, mm, that's actually two seconds. Ah. If I didn't mess up that one spot, there were two things. So if I time the bridge better at the end, if I time the bridge better, um, I might be able to save like a bit. Not definitely not much, but a little tiny bit maybe. But then there was also. There was one other point, this, when I missed the mask, right? And that was like a half second. When you have the invincibility, you want to be on the ground as much as possible, so... No! Did I do it by like point? Yes! He's a god. Look, I don't care. Pole. Paul. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> Alright, so it took me, uh, you know, eight minutes, nine minutes to get one platy. A minute. So we're absolutely shooting for like 50-something seconds here. If I do this, do I keep invincibility? Definitely not. <laughs> I, I, sorry, I looked down and I saw my stream buffered, so I was distracted. That doesn't count. Blowing up TNT should absolutely uh, give me extra time. Look, I will lab these levels out hardcore because they're platform speed run levels. That's my shit. I hit I hit a tree? What happened? I, I jumped on the piranha plant that was on the edge of the cliff, and I didn't make it with the extra height from the plant. Sorry, man eater. Piranha plant, that's Mario. I just call a little bit of shenanigans there. But, you know, it's fine. Lesson learned. Uh, that guy sucks. Look, you want to not get stuck in any cycle of the rollers. Now, I don't know if there's anything up there. There could be. But I'm going to bank on there not being... I don't care. I mean, there's probably going to be invincibility in this level, and then that's going to suck. I didn't get that? That's a, that's a shame. I hit the TNT. Oh, 
But we're gonna learn that I'm gonna need the invincibility to do this, probably. No, no. If that cost me, it's gonna suck. Wow! Sapphire was a minute three. Oh, it didn't reset, whatever. Sapphire was a minute three. And it goes all the way down to at least 49 seconds. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, we need that invincibility. Okay, I can't can't just uh face tank it. Does this guy stay? No. Alright, well let's just restart now. With the platinums in crash, they don't tend to give you much breathing room. So we just kinda have to restart that. I still am not sure. I think crash is faster on the ground, just overall. So I think I thought I spun, but I also looked down. Uh, I think jumping is overall just a mistake. I probably shouldn't be landing on that. Because I think bouncing slows you down for sure. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, okay. The short hops, though. The short hop nair. Tried to, I don't know if that sped it up at all. Fuck, dude, no. I'm just gonna re. I'm just gonna reset. Ah. I think the invincibility is just necessary. I mean, you move faster, but you could also just ignore the rolls. Not that I really had to dodge many of them on that first try. Oh Jesus. But, uh, it'll definitely just save time. Because I'm faster. And I won't have to spin boxes, I'll just plow through them, you know. You've been here for the crash, you know how the crash be. Oh no. Alright, well that was awful. You know what, I appreciate the, the extra reason to reset there. I like died today. So Sunday, I was like out way too late with my friends playing some board games. Good times though. Was, was it worth it? Absolutely. Uh, I was out way too late. I was out to like three and I had work at eight. So I had to be up at like 6.45, seven. So that was like a big mistake. And then yesterday I like couldn't fall asleep when it was like, you know, midnight. I just, I, I wish I could have, I just for some reason wasn't tired enough. Fuck! So I couldn't fall asleep, so like today, I only, like I worked 10 hours yesterday, but today I only worked 4 hours. So I got home and just died. I ate, I ate some lunch and just like laid down. I was asleep for like 5 hours. It took like a terribly long nap that i mean who knows if i'm gonna be able to fall asleep later but i don't have work tomorrow so it's not a huge problem but it's definitely like a a mistake oh well this will be a i'm curious if there's anything up here almost certainly not but yeah okay <laughs> just some regular blank boxes that was a mistake. That's okay. We yeah, are playing board games with the boys. It's a good time. We got this shit. Oh no! Well, I don't think we're gonna do it, but you know, we'll see. Come on. 
No! Well, I got Goldie at least. Oh, we got Platy, dude. We take the Platy. I don't know what Platy was. Gold was 48. I guess I'll never know because I can't look. 105. So what we've learned is that Sapphire for bitches. And it's more going to be like 40 something. <laughs> ah. Didn't think about when I'd have to do these ones. want to spin like actually everything these are the parts where you like lose time if you fall you just reset all right you just reset <laughs> take my own advice faster I don't know the fact that I take those hops a little extra high is really bad I think you could probably do them without without holding the uh, jump button down when you jump off them but, like for safety re really for safety reasons I'm like no I'm like scared to not hold it because if I don't hold it then like what if I don't make it then it's over no! Ugh, he moved back. I wanted to jump right over his dome piece. Uh, well. Yeah, see, like that is like, perfect. Whatever. So I got to the, the other climb over there at around 13, 14 seconds. So we'll see how we do this time. Uh, yeah. We're like, actually like a second. Alright, well. You know, what happens. Oh, no. No, don't quit. I wish it gave me a yes or no on quit, because I did not want to sit through a loading screen. Oof. Look, if it takes us 10 minutes-ish to do a level, that's not that bad platinum a level 10 minutes it's like 10 runs so you got all that time saved from not holding the extra jump well i guess i'm not getting that one that's actually like gonna kill me it's gonna kill the, the attempt why doesn't it get both all right well i'll just kill the attempt actually so we'll never know <sighs> that's just bad juju you know you start on a missed jump you're like eh. oh my god Don't get hit by the turtle. Yeah, I'm a little behind here. No! Oh, no, all right. Well, just shoot me. What I'm not sure about that starting section is if, I'd, if I'm supposed to jump on the one hit the Aku Aku box with my head and then um, spin on the downswing. That might make it, but it seems a little touchy. So don't kill this turtle. I'm gonna jump on the board. Alright, well, run's dead. 
but we'll play it out to, to practice, I guess. Why can't I ever hit two boxes at once there? Fuck. No, I didn't want that yet. All right, well, all right, just, just end me. I guess I'll just not do... I was in the foreground. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That was... I mean, that worked. So we'll do that from now on. What? All right, just kill me. I mean, I, I spun. I didn't get it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That's okay. That's okay. <clears throat> I should jump that earlier that I don't bash my face into the step. What? What was the hitbox, dude? All right. Hit me with that fat reset. All right, that one worked. I don't really know what the difference was, but that's fine. We don't need to know what the difference was if it just if we win right now. Oh no. Hit my head. Oh. <laughs> Why? Like, why? Oh, Jesus. We need to just stay. How did I hit that turtle? How did I hit that turtle, dude? I was so not in that turtle's personal bubble. All right, well, well, that's a pretty bad one. Eyes on the prize. That's good. We like that one. We hate this turtle, though. What are you talking about? Here's what sucks. I keep fucking it up on this turtle, like, halfway through the level. You know what I mean? Like, we're not even... That's at, like, the 20-whatever-second mark, which is hopefully, like, halfway through. what was different there on why we hit the turtle like that instead no no i jumped no dude i jumped i feel like getting bounced up back by them is kind of just the kiss of death anyway i 
really don't know why that feels so inconsistent. I mean, look, this is just gonna be me practicing the fucking turtle. But I'm, I'm, you know, my timing's off, so he's gonna be in a different spot, yeah. And I didn't even hit it. Jesus, it was awful. Oh my god. I'm so, I just, I didn't believe, I didn't have faith in my, my bounce on the first jump. That's why. I mean, I feel like these vertical levels are the hardest, probably, just because you stand the most to lose with every slight mistake. You know, there's enemies who bounce you back, if you fall, you're just, it's over if you fall. That was an accidental hold, but that's okay. No, what? Um, just, just a little bit of confusion on that. That's fine. I was, it was over anyway. Once I, if you miss a three second box, it's over. Why? Like what? How am I hitting the top box first? Oh no, this one's, that one's just over. It was four seconds by the time I got the time pause. Oh, how did I miss it the first time? Hitboxes. Get it. Didn't mean to land on him, spin him, but that's okay. I'm a little behind, but whatever. We've gotta try our best to see the level through to at least see where we land. Okay, again, like, please! <laughs> See how not worth it that was. I mean, 47. Oh, it was totally worth it. That's why you had two masks to just hit it, eat those hits. Okay. Again, right around 10 minutes to get a plat. All right, so again, somewhere in the 40s for this one. I mean, this one. It's the boulder level, like, I guess it's literally just get every box and go. The thing is, you don't have to hit the boxes. Like, you don't have to go out of your, well, unless it works like TNT. But if it works like I hope it does, you don't really have to hit any boxes. You can totally just run unless they're like, you know, in the path because the boulders break every box. That's why these are like the easiest levels to gem. Yeah, it totally counts. Just keep running. No! My thumb, it fell off the stick. <laughs> oh, shit. Stop. No! Alright, well, that was really bad. This is definitely not a platy run, but we'll finish it because we're basically almost there already, so.
That's a gold. Yeah. Gladys probably like 46. If I didn't, I, I fucked up twice. I hit that fence and I accidentally broke the boxes bad. Huh? 47. If I didn't mess up with like one of those things, we probably had it. Keep the stick down, James. Keep your thumb on the stick. I have a sweaty thumb, and the stick is not grippy enough. I think I have two thumbs, so I can adjust. last boulder? Is there one more? Just keep going left. That's okay. This is like the last segment. Three, two, one. We're in. We got it. Easy. Boulder level, easy. Three minutes, we're in. What's this? 103. So, I mean, again, in the 40s. 46, 47. I might be able to just make that, but I didn't want to try. You gotta spin those piranhas because you can't get stuck waiting for them. See that's the thing with these levels is you have to wait. Like they you know they had to take into account for the waiting. Oh no! You have to just go. If you get chomped on by a single plant, you're definitely done. In this stage, like, because they hold you there and they munch on you for a little while. I mean, I think this is a loss because I missed the two second box. If I got that, I'd be at 47. Definitely had platinum if I got it. That would have been a first try if I had hit that box. Guaranteed. Maybe I should have gone. Well, we'll look. If it's like 48, we should have gone back for the box. If it's 47, it would have been tight. 46. No, we definitely would not have gotten it. I wonder if you can make it. Oh, dude, that was so close. My toes, my tootsies were there. Coyote time, baby. One's not happening. <laughs> I got excited. I definitely didn't have to do that. The fact that I did it once means that this is gonna be the strat for the rest of the time. There's no, I'm not gonna do anything else. Yes. Now just don't go for another one. See you in chat, but I'm not, I, can't, I don't have the capacity. When I get the first mask, also high. Hey, because uh, if you get the mask before the timer starts, it doesn't carry in. It just goes away. Oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> like if I pick this up now, it goes away. And also, the box definitely is not a mask after the timer starts. Boxes change. 
but a fine question. And I mean, even if it is a mask, it really doesn't affect anything. Because getting hit on this level is... I mean, you can get hit by the piranhas, but that you shouldn't, because you can spin them. If you get eaten by a plant, it's over. Oh, that one was close. Nah, that's fine. You don't gotta be sorry. It was an honest question, an earnest question. Jeez. Such an unnecessary jump. Why? Why doesn't it get both? if you can in this game just because um 40 seconds dude that's insane 40 seconds i don't even know how you do that that's outrageous i don't know if you can double tap in this game it's on like a like in crash 3 or something or when you get like the tornado power you can spam but in this game, once you do it, kind of like committed to that, you know, that set spin. Mm. Is that worth it? If there's invincibility, that's worth it. If there's not, probably not. Oh! I was gonna fuck that up. I knew it. Oh god. We're good. I'm a god. Okay, cool. We got him. If we didn't get him, that would have been really bad. Now, I don't know if hitting the, t the TNT there would count. So, oh fuck. So I chose to just commit myself to jumping on it. If TNT counts like a boulder counts, well, we're going to test this time, I guess, because I don't have the masks. All right, we're really going to test this time because I just fucked it all up. Never mind. <laughs> so, Dippin' Sauce, what have you been up to? How's life? It's been a hot minute since uh, I've seen you around the channel. Okay. Bland and mostly work. All right. Fuck. Sounds uh fairly similar to me. Oops. All right. Well. No. Oh, dude. I realized I didn't even look at time for this one. Probably in the same vein of, you know, the minute, two seconds, three seconds-ish. I went for it. I didn't have to. I went for it. I should have tested the TNT time instead. But I was like, I'm going to get this mask. Didn't. Oh, fuck. It really sets you off. If you have to go back and, like, the cycles are ruined real bad oh my god like that I think if you can get boxes with like a an enemy spin oh honestly I was trying to hit the TNT both times, but I managed to nail it. Oh, just restart that. This one is fucked. <laughs> well, 
you know, you live by the sword, you die by the sword, you know? I tried to cut that as close as I could. And it was a mistake. Oh! The face tanking only works sometimes. No, I hit the turtle. I don't want to hit the turtle. I got hit? Okay. No! What's up, Joey? No! Okay, we're good. I mean, like, that was a great interaction that I nailed there. If there's no third mask, which it seems like there's not, I'm just gonna... No! Oh! Oh, I was like, I'm just gonna tank this shit. And then I did, and I died immediately. Clearing out Persona stuff. I don't know who Anne is, but, you know, I'll take the word for it. I should have just spun and blew it all to pieces. At least then my invincibility would have had like an extra fucking use. No! So Joey, did you catch any shinies uh, on your stream the other night? Oof. She's an aspiring mono with giant blonde pigtails. Sounds like a pretty decent archetype for a character, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> Damn it! Nine spoink? <laughs> Why did you only go for spoink? That was, that was just a... I wasn't looking. Also, why did you pick Spoink? Like all Pokemon. You're like, I want a Spoink and a Grumpig really bad. Ooh. It counted. It counted. It absolutely counted. That face tanking was genius. That one was not. <laughs> I may have needed that later. Oh, there was a third. Alright, well, that changes the idea of tanking to maybe don't do it. We'll see. We'll see how close I am with this attempt. Oh, Ooh, who needs invincibility when you're a genius? Because Poker Radar Splunk was the swarm for the day. Ah, oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> 36. Jesus. Literally 10 seconds faster than me. Five seconds. Oh, well, this is hog, so just basically don't miss a box. Dun, 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 dun. 
I remember my days of shiny hunting. Started in Pokemon X. That was when I first got into that. And then it stuck with me through Horas and Sun and Moon a little bit, not a lot. I thought I died there. Checkpoint. <laughs> I think I had my most shinies, like different ones in X and Y, but in I think in no, was it in both I did it? I don't know. In one of them, definitely I could go turn on my 3DS. Good luck. Uh, I definitely had all my shiny EVs and their evolutions because that's who I am. But. For the most part, for the most part, it didn't have uh, too much going on. Kind of want to hunt tonight too, since you can't do P3P yet. Turns out you also need an HD on ice quarter. It was like a trip down memory road. Happy one. Yeah. What is Persona on that you need a splitter? Is it on PS2 or something? Oh, well, that's just a bad start. <laughs> Close PSTV. I don't even know what that is. And I don't know why you need an HDMI splitter for it, because I don't know what PSTV is. Oof. Well, we committed! <laughs> Had even shaved four seconds? I don't know. I don't know how you shave any seconds on anything like that. Like an auto runner? I have no idea what they did, but, you know, it's impressive. Oh, uh, well, hopefully we don't need the mask. My boy Aku Aku gets to live in his house forever. Make it! These are always the scary parts. spin if I had my boy I would have well I did it again so I won't have him this time either. oops PSTV basically lets you play Vita and PSP games on a TV okay I'm still confused on why you need the splitter then like the it, like the PSP needs a cord to go to the TV and then I'm dead. And then you need instead you need a splitter so that you can plug the PSP into that and then into the TV and your computer. Is that what's going on? Like is it the same reason that I have my I mean it's not even a splitter, but well, I mean I guess I do have no it's not a splitter. Well that's a shame. I have the Elgato which I guess it's sort of a splitter. No! And then I have my composite to HDMI splitter, or like adapter, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Alright, well, we tried. <laughs> Not, oh, uh, well. I didn't even look at the, did I look at the time for this? What was it, if you remember? All right, well, I mean, we literally, I don't know how we snuck past him without jumping on his head, but we take it. <gasps> Shit! Okay, well, we lived. Alright, well, we're fine. I mean, the time is awful, but we're fine. I didn't hit the one. Mm. Mm, this is a really bad attempt here, but it's also like a first read. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know how many time boxes I'm going to miss for going this way, but we'll find out. <laughs> Mm. 
No! Go! Just tried to jump over it. There was an encodement thing going on around. Make sure you can connect the PS TV to both Elgato and TV since the thing only has one inch in my phone. Okay. So, okay, so PS TV is like its own hardware. It's like a piece of hardware. For some reason, I thought PSTV was software, like on your PS4 or something. See, there was the disconnect. I thought it was software. Oh man, I thought I was perfectly timed. Again, I really thought that was, like, you know, perfect. Come on, have that miss. It's a hard reset. Okay, I got you, Joey. Well, then, yeah, you need to buy yourself a splitter, I guess. No! Literally two seconds wasted. Okay, well, that was really bad. I, mm, I fucked up the thing. Ah, oh, you already did? Okay, well. I was really thinking about doing another Pokemon Nuzlocke. Recently. I don't know what game to do. Because part of me, I really wanted to do like a Gen 2. But like Gen 2 on the Game Boy Color is like really easy and like not difficult and also you know still buggy because <laughs> gen 2 is my favorite gen so i'd love to do like a heart gold soul silver but i don't have a three uh not three, i don't have a ds capture card i don't know if i want to buy one because there's no, like no other ds games i would play Also love to do Gen 3 eventually, but my I can't find my copy of Ruby, and I don't really want to ruin my copy of Sapphire by erasing it, the file, because I have Jirachi on that, and that's cool. Okay, well, that was interesting. <gasps> Alright, well, I shouldn't have gone for it, but, you know, I'm a crazy guy. what it said at the start. Fire Red Leaf Green bridges the gap between 1 and 2. I don't have Fire, Letter, Fire Red or Leaf Green because I just don't. But also, like, I want to play Gen 2. Like, I don't want to, like, I could play Gen 1 again. I could play Gen 1 all the fucking time. I have all three Gen 1 games. And, I mean, I love them. But, 
I don't want, like, I want to play Gen 2 because I want to play different gyms and, sh you know, find different Pokemon and stuff. <clears throat> Fuck. Fuck. Like, are Fire Red and Leaf Green superior versions of Gen 1? Absolutely they are. Will you ever see me play them over the originals? I don't know. Besides the fact that I'd have to buy them. There's a, I just have a, you know, there's a soft spot for those OGs with, like, the fat, horribly drawn Pokemon and having little Pikachu follow me around. That was my childhood right there. I didn't, I didn't buy Fire Red Leaf Green as a kid because I was like, I already have all the Gen 1 games. Why would I buy them again? Yes, I was stupid. Do I regret it? No. I thought, I'm dead. <laughs> Sevy Islands, motherfucker? I don't really know what that is. I'm assuming you mean like post-game stuff. And to that I say, once I beat the Pokemon League in a Nuzlocke, I'm happy. Come on, I jumped. You know, we were so close to doing it on the yellow one. If, like, I just, there were some things where it fell apart. But we almost did it, basically, with only a Moltres. <laughs> I think we would have been able to do it had I, like, I just blew, like, I, I threw, like, three Pokemon away to, like, random crits that happened. And that was, like, what ruined it. But that's, you know, that's what happens in that Nuzlocke. <gasps> okay, well. I don't know why I even killed that guy. Just kind of because I hate him. Well, I should have gone, but I was scared. It was an honest, honest mistake. No, no, no. I, I, well, I mean, this run is definitely dead, but we'll finish it. Or at least we'll see how far we get before I die. If only I'd trained my Snorlax. Thames is salty. Look, I don't, I don't know. I just, I've never used a Snorlax in my life. So, <laughs> I don't know. I had a great team when you, by the time you were caught. So it was like, I should stick with this. And then things went bad. It's post story, fire live for against collection signs, hotel a fair number. Post a fair number of gentry Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, but like, that's post game. Like, what do I care at that point? I want to use Gen 2 Pokemon. I want to have my Espeon with me. You know? And I want my precious Totodile. Or whatever other Pokemon I care about in Gen 2. And I don't want to do a Gen 3 one with my Sapphire. Like, I don't want to do... Like, if I, I can do more Gen 1, I can do, like, red or blue. I would just have to make trades. Because... I didn't get hit. What the... Did, what the hell happened? Um... But my blue has a Mew. Or a miss... No, my blue has a Mew. And my red has a missing no. And... Let's go. sick. Okay. <laughs> Fuck me. And I don't want to just save over that, so I'd have to make a trade.
because Lord knows the missing mill that I got by accident as a kid. Not kidding. Oh no. <sighs> it's still a cool experience. Nah. I'm good, fam. Also, you can't evolve even into SPM and real violent only only game since Gen 2 to not use it. To not use time. Yeah, exactly. Even more reason for me to not play it. Just gonna just gonna hit that one with a reset. <laughs> Oh, that sucks, because that last run was so good with that TNT segment. I want to go through the process of being in, in a Nuzlocke situation and having to fight the mill tank, Joey, and the Steelix. It's going to be awful. That's why I'd kind of like to play Heart Gold Soul Silver, because oh, they made Gen 2's thing better. They like balanced it way more. All right, well we're going apparently. I'd like to stick to gens that I know as well. I might be like, oh, do Gen 4. I've never played Gen 4. Or 5. Or 6. Diamond Pearl. Um, <clears throat> black White. Is Black and White 2 are still Gen 5, right? I don't know. I didn't play those games. I skipped out on them. That's when I fell out of Pokemon and Nintendo as a whole. <gasps> Silver, it's part of Gen 4. No, it's Gen 2 remade. Just like how Gen 1, I mean, Fire Red Leaf Green is Gen 1 remade. Just has the changes or the improvements that were made post generation. The Pokemon are not Gen 4. Like how the Pokemon and Fire Leaf Green are not Gen 2 or 3. Oh, I tried. Balance as per G4 is considered a J4. Not to me, it's not. The generations for me are, are strictly based on the Pokedex involved. I don't care if I'm right or wrong, but that's how I view them. There's nothing to do with the programming. There's everything to do with the region I explore and the Pokedex that I'm filling up. The Pokemon being introduced along with the kind of stuff Gen 1 didn't have the ability is held by as uh, so obviously you're wrong. The majority of the fandom disagrees, so oh well. I mean, you guys can be quote unquote right, and I do not care. If you gave me Hulk Gold Soul Silver, I'm playing Gen 2. Oh no. 
Just like if you give me Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, I'm playing Gen 3. I'm not playing Gen 7. Or 6, or whichever one it was. You're really not, though, but I am. Gen 4, I would start with a fucking hip up or something. In Gen 2, I would start with a Totodial or a Syndicate. In Gen 1, I'd start with a Bulbasaur or a Squirtle. Oh Why is my timing so fucking awful right now? I mean, there's a reason I said it's how I see it. Especially, like, it's not competitive for me or anything. It's strictly the story. Gen 1 and 2 both have Team Rocket. Gen 3 does not have Team Rocket. Gen 4 does not have Team Rocket. There's just things that the generations for me are not defined by mechanics. They're defined by the region and the Pokemon involved. It's just how I see it. Just go. Oh! Bulbasaur over Charmander, lame. Well, I mean, I pick Squirtle over both of them. It doesn't really matter. We have our viewpoint, understand the other. Punch. It's true, Joey. You couldn't change my mind if you wanted to on this topic. Real question is, do you drop 60 on shield to save your money? I don't know, Thames. You care about different things with Pokemon than I do. So, like, for your case, you probably wait. Not that Nintendo games ever go on sale, but you probably wait to see how it is. I mean, I'll be dropping 60 on a sword because, uh. I don't, I wouldn't say it seems like they're phoning it in, but when they, I don't know, it just seems, I don't want to say uninspired, but I mean, me and Thames had a discussion about this a while ago about what they could introduce, in my opinion, to make the game more like new and fun. Oh, um. I personally don't think the exclusion of Pokemon is a wise decision, and the reason that they said they did it being for animations or whatever. I mean, look, until we see those animations, it's not it's not looking too too convincing, especially when people like dug through the trailers and be like they're the exact same thing as they were with uh, sun and moon or whatever you know that's not like a great sign but maybe they'll do something that's not just you know dynamax and gigantamaxing because i don't think that's nearly enough to you know outweigh the fact that the pokedex is now smaller like Pokemon camps or whatever the heck there's like there's, you know there'll be people who care but like I don't think that's anything that's taken much effort at all the fact that you can now fuck, the fact that you can now encounter Pokemon that are like a higher level by like a big margin 
is interesting, but I don't know if it's going to work in Pokemon just due to the fact of how the battle system works. Like, imagine you run into a level, you know, 45, whatever, and you have your level 10 starter. You just die? Like, can you, how do you run from that situation? Because a Pokemon, like, the runaway escape system is just not like another RPG where you could just leave. You have to, like, roll a die. So, I don't know. There's things to... There's, there's issues at hand that they need to prove um, right or wrong. Why did I go back here? I got scared. <laughs> we hate this level so much. No, I got fooled by boxes. Well, that was awful. I got gold, though. <laughs> Honestly, you can argue they've been phoning it in since Gen 6. 3D models ensure they're only going to have one design going forward. With the impulse and resources to make town. Which is, as the kids say, yikes. I mean, I don't know if town's going to be good. Ooh, four seconds. Yikes. I don't know if town's going to be good. I'm probably not going to play 